Yesterday, we had three of the five road teams win, including the NC Dinos, who barely came away victorious after allowing three runs in the bottom of the ninth to the SK Wyverns. The Samsung Lions dominated the Key Room Heroes 13-2, making the first time the Lions have scored in double digits since June 23rd. But perhaps the biggest surprise was the Hanwha Eagles, who defeated the Lotte Giants in walk-off fashion in the bottom of the 12th inning. For player news, David Buchanan grabbed the win during Tuesday's 13-2 victory over the Heroes. He allowed one run on four hits and two walks while fanning three across six innings for the Lions. On the same team, third baseman Tyler Saladino resumed on-field workouts Tuesday. He's been currently sidelined with an injury. We haven't been able to say this one in a while, but Preston Tucker went one for three with a two-run home run and a walk Tuesday in the Tigers' 8-2 loss to the KT Wiz. Here are today's odds courtesy of DraftKings Sportsbook. It's game two, and despite the narrow victory yesterday, the Dinos are again the biggest favorite on the day. That game also has a sky-high total of 11 runs, while the lowest total belongs to the giants Eagle series with two aces on the bump. The Kia Tigers own the longest losing streak as they've dropped their last three, while of course the Dinos have the longest winning streak, winning their last three. Today's Daily Fantasy Must Start is Mel Rojas Jr. Rojas Jr. is the league MVP right now, and he should show it tonight against the Tigers. Yes, while Kia has one of the best pitching staffs in the league, they've allowed eight runs per game over their last two games. Rojas is due for another big night, and he should continue his current three-game hitting streak against the Tigers. For game previews, we're first looking at the LG twins Deuce and Bears matchup. Casey Kelly is going for the Twins, and while he's a foreign pitcher, he hasn't quite lived up to those all-star expectations that you have with foreign players in the KBO. He's a 4.89 ERA and has allowed three or more runs in three of his past four starts. He's not a huge strikeout guy, and he has allowed at least one home run in each of his last six starts. The Bears have one of the league's premier offenses and that has scored Eight runs per game over their last three games. I like the Bears offense, and I think they're going to get to Kelly early on. So I'm taking the over 10.5 and and the Bears to win. Next, two former major leaguers face off in the Lotte Hanwha game. These are two of the worst offenses in the KBO, but the Giants have the edge with Dan Straley on the bump. Last night's walk-off was largely a fluke for the Eagles, and I don't expect them to be able to do the same against Straley, who is in a great position for a bounce-back win tonight after a rough start against the Dinos in his last start.